What's up guys? So we are remaking a video about the BSLT price because the other one was a video in the background. You couldn't hear me, but let's go over. This is crazy. So BSLT is already up now to 27 cents. It is almost overtaking the T-Bar. T-Bar is down to 29 cents. This is crazy right here. So we are still less than two days into the launch of Arc World, and the price has skyrocketed. So the initial price was 3.5 cents. Uh, and now you can see we're almost up 10x, very, very close to 10x on that price. So congratulations to anyone uh, that got in on the very first couple minutes and has been holding. So I, I die. My initial thoughts was, is, could it last? But what they really did well was the thousand BSLT withdraw. Like you cannot withdraw BSLT unless you have a thousand. So pretty much none of the free stuff that they gave out, none of the airdrops that they gave out, none of the, uh, you know, alpha rewards, the 300 that they got there, the 100 or 200 from the fandom cards, the land NFTs, none of that stuff has affected the price. And it's only been buying pressure now because people are buying to buy land, to rent land, to buy the arc pass. They're buying it so they can buy their skills because skills are, you know, you have to buy your skills. You, you can find some from mobs, um, but you get some from the quest as well. But still, you still need to buy some things off of the auction house unless you're insanely lucky. Uh, so also, let's look, take a look here at the OpenSea.io. This land is actually like glitched. I tried to buy it earlier in the other video uh, that got kind of corrupted. And sadly, it was not purchasable. Like, I'll try later maybe. But with land, the price has been pretty steady, and it's crazy seeing uh, land hold steady around this, you know, eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred price. Uh, we can take a look at the sales history on this, because so land is about two fifty. We'll round up and say three hundred. Okay, so land is three hundred dollars for a small land. If you're gonna rent that from the game, it costs three hundred BSLT at twenty seven cents. You're looking at renting that for about whew, 75 bucks, 80 bucks. It's right around there. So we'll say 80 bucks. So in three months, it covers your rent. Like, uh, it makes no sense to, to, to not buy this unless you plan on only renting for one month and then quitting. The other thing is, too, is like when you buy land, you can sell it when you leave. So even if you just like, oh, I'm gonna play for one month and then I'm gonna quit. You buy the land, you pay 300, and then you sell it for 260 when you leave. You know, because you're gonna maybe lose a little bit of money. Who knows? Maybe it goes up, but say you just sell for 260. So that means the land realistically only costs you $40 for that one month period that you actually played the game. And you got usage out of it. So you got enjoyment out of it. Like, it's a no-brainer to buy land. Fandom cards on the other side. So this has been very interesting. Um, they're finally dropping in value. So fandom cards are now around 700 clay. So all these are in clay. This price is clay, so the clay is about 25 cents. And so see, a fandom card is now only $169 for the cheapest. And this was what I thought was gonna happen with fandom cards because after the launch of the server, they're not that important anymore. Not until the next launch of the next server. So at the launch of the server, they give you priority queue access. There hasn't been a queue. Uh, we haven't seen a queue today, so you don't need that anymore. And then they gave you a free medium land if you had three fandom cards. So once that happened, once the airdrop happened and the snapshot happened on that, you no longer needed your fandom cards. They're supposed to give you a costume every month, but the costumes aren't really worth anything, so it's not really worthwhile to hold on to the fandom cards. So the prices should drop, but it stayed high. They stayed about a thousand for the last couple of days. And just recently did they drop down to 700. You can see there was a big drop it was 900, 1,000. So yeah, two days ago. 
So, I mean, they should be dropping. There was also the news that came out that the American launch is actually delayed now till Q1 2023. So that means fandom is not needed because fandom is used for land sales. So if they do open a new server or if they open up a new region, then the fandom card holders get to buy land before anyone else. It acts as a special whitelist, which means they are priority VIP. They get access to the land sale and they also get discounted prices on the land. So it was 50% off compared to the standard people in Korea or Asia. So essentially it was like they got the land, I think the small one, it cost them like 150 was about the price that it was when the land went on sale. And so if we take a look at the land, the land price is now 250. So if you bought it at that pre-sale fandom card price level, you could still actually sell it right now and make money. They also bought medium and large and extra large and so forth. And some of those have been just have skyrocketed. Like the people that bought the mega ones, oh my gosh. I think they paid like $3,000, but they've a couple of them have been selling as high as like $13,000. So here's one that sold for 12. This is probably a large. Oh wow, it's just a medium. That's crazy. It sold for... 1200 someone really wanted that location to pay that price because a medium is about 600 normally so this one's probably a large yeah see here's a large and someone paid less than that medium well, that's crazy let's see three 3E9, we can see if that was the same person that bought that one, because that was a Sandeep, and then this one. Nope, not the same person. Because some people like to have land right next to each other, and you'll pay a premium price for land that's neighboring you, because it's also a lot more convenient for you to actually use all the land rather than teleport back and forth to several different lands. I mean, teleporting is going to cost you 45 silver, or no, 75 silver, but it's it adds up. Silver is pretty easy to get, gold is pretty easy to get. Um, if, I think eventually the, the gold faucets will turn off, because a lot of it's coming from quests in the beginning, like achievements. But yeah, we'll see. So who knows how high the BSLT will go? Uh, the sky is the limit. I mean, until... XL game starts dumping their BSLT and or they introduce the actual play to earn mechanics in the game. So I posted this comment to someone else too. So I'll just talk about this. I think the trade pack system is going to be a system in this game where you can actually earn the BSLT in game. So I think what they're going to end up doing is you make a trade pack and you just uh, turn it in and you get BSLT. That's what I think they're doing with the trade back system. But what I think they're doing here is this is the, the beginning, this is the leveling phase of the game. And so they're still adjusting and figuring out how much BSLT to award and so forth like that would be my guess. And they want you to level. And so this way, when they do introduce the trade back system, they're gonna put a level requirement on it. This is this is all speculation, all pure guess. We do know the roadmap that the trade packs are coming and they are coming probably within the next three months or so. That's what it's been said in the roadmap. So speculation completely on all these facts and details, but I'm guessing is that they're gonna be a level requirement to use or create a trade pack. And so if that's the case, they'll probably put like ancestral level five or ancestral level 10 as a level requirement. That prevents bots from doing this and farming the game. So only real players who have actually been playing and enjoying the game will now have a way to earn BSLT in game. Because there is gonna be BSLT given out. They said it's gonna be given out as ranking leaderboards and prizes and stuff like that. Like they have a whole treasury that they're you know gonna provide the players of the game 
this is all brand new territory though. So they are probably taking an extremely cautious approach on how they interact. And I would expect like the first iteration of the trade packs probably to be super, super low, like BSLT one for delivering a trade pack. And then for delivering like a, like a super ocean trade pack run, it'd be like five. Like it's not gonna be a crazy amount. It's gonna be something very, very small is my guess, but it might get better over time. Like I, I fully expect the, you know, earning aspects of the game to definitely grow with more features being added. So I am excited. Uh, I am shocked that the price is staying and holding at this, but I guess it makes sense that no one can really sell because you don't have 1000 BSLT and no one is earning. And the game right now is actually just sucking out BSLT. Every transaction on the auction house, they take 10%. And so that is just sucked out of the game economy, given back to XL Games. Very, very interesting. I am uh, very intrigued with how this game shakes out and how everything works. Like the eh, the game is really fun for me personally. I, I enjoy this stuff. I'm I'm weird. I'm odd. You can say what you want, but uh, yeah, I enjoy this. This has been a lot of fun. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.